How's it going guys? My name is Marty Mac. Welcome back to this channel. Now this video is all about new 10 tips that I'm going to give you guys because you know my very first video of Super Animal Royale was actually a uh, top 10 tips for, for beginners honestly and this video is probably going to be more beginner tips or intermediate or even pro. This is kind of like the, you're inside the mind of me and how I think about this game as well and how I technically play but anyways guys if you like these tips make sure to smash that like button and subscribe it is very much appreciated anyways let's get into it so my very first tip is when you land um, the best weapons to pick up will be the weapons that have the fastest time to kill like shotguns SMGs then pistols so literally when you land try and find one of those three weapons first literally go for the shotgun if there is because that can one pump the enemy straight away if they're trying to go for that weapon and it is going to be the most crucial weapon to start every single game in super animal royale then that's why i say smgs is next tip number two when you land if you have the choice between a gun and a awesome looking shield whether it's level two one or even three get the gun first okay if there's gonna be multiple people landing there they're gonna be like oh yeah what that shield man give it to me yeah well that's why you get the gun that way you can just pop his ass you know he's down he's out that's so that's another big thing within the start of the game also, sometimes, uh, this is tip number three, when you start the game, health can be an issue, especially finding it or saving it up. So if you're weak, either get your teammates to shoot you with the dart gun, if they know, at least mark it and try and let them understand. But again, or if you're in solos, try and find campfires. They are literally all over the map. And then if you have heals yourself, um, it can basically two times double the rate of how fast you heal basically what I usually do with when I'm at a campfire when I'm low on health or even shield I will tape at myself at a campfire that way I'm healing at the same time as well as putting on shield so that that's kind of a basic tip but it's something that needs to be said because you always have to save up on your health because especially if you make it to the end game you really might need it Tip number four, when someone is on an emu and they are being a little, you know what, um, here's the tip that I'm going to tell you. If, if you're struggling to like shoot the emu and the emu isn't dying and they've like already got two hits on you or something, prevent that from happening. When you see an emu with a, someone on it charging at you, jump on his hiney, join them for the ride and then try and get away and where you can get more shots where you can surprise them. That is a really big tip for new for new players especially because, you know, they can't hurt you when they're riding on the emu as well and if they decide to get off and shoot the emu, the emu is taking the damage first before you. Tip number five, this is uh, another weapon tip. Um, it's completely up to you but how I would have the weapon situation is have one long range weapon and one close range weapon what i mean by that is like have an ak and therefore your secondary can be a smg pistol julie pistol or a shotgun something like that where it's close range i can handle it unlike the ak and don't get me wrong the ak's are really strong up close but it's it's not gonna the the rate of fire isn't gonna beat an smg or a shotgun Next up, when you're weak with shield, remember your surroundings, especially when you land. And either way, like if you retreat from a fight, if you're weak, remember those surroundings because if you remember seeing a level two shield that has been broken or even other shield, etc., etc., retreat back to those directions and literally shield swap and pick it up. And you know, you might have the advantage next time when the person is still chasing you or whatever. Which leads into my next tip, number seven. When you are being chased, take a few shots in the track that you are being followed and you might get off some hits. This is what I do a lot, especially when I'm running away, trying to retreat, get, get behind corners or whatever. Shoot at those corners because those players, there's a bunch of sweats these days. You can land off some incredible hits and that is going to be the big difference in this game especially if you get those hits on them when you're weak if you're running away that is crucial 
Tip number eight, always have some sort of throwables near end game. Please don't waste them. Anytime if I lose a game towards the end game, it's because I've already thrown my throwables. The skunk nades, the nades, and don't get me wrong, maybe there's a situation where you need to actually throw it, but try and hold on to it towards the second last or just last circle in general because that's gonna do the most damage there where you can just like just absolutely incinerate them at the end tip number nine this is about the hamster ball even though the hamster balls are going to be getting nerfed towards the, the next update it is easy to break them with one shotgun shot or three SMG or AK hits. I don't know if it's like gonna fully break with a snipe shot. I don't know about that because I don't really use it as much. But if you see someone in a hamster ball running towards you, stand your ground, hit them with a pump, with a shoddy, and like maybe switch your weapons with an SMG or something, or hit them again with another pop, uh, pump shotgun because that would you're you're gonna get the first shot when the the hamster ball breaks on them. So you will have the advantage no matter what. The The only use of a hamster ball is honestly around corners where you can't even see them or if it's just full speed. Number 10, this is, this is all on you. Be crazy, look like a psycho on the field and don't, don't move straight. That is my tip, don't move straight. You wanna be moving in all sorts of directions that way it will actually help you dodge bullets as well. But either way, just don't move straight. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and these 10 tips, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time. Have a good one and goodbye.